Well, I'm going to roll the truck out of the garage. Uh, we may take it for a little ride. And my brother is in town, so we are going to get the fair lane out. I have a new PCV valve for it, so i got to put that on there. Uh, we may wheel it over there and put some gas in it and uh, let that thing run for a little bit because it has been a while. I think we may actually take the truck out for a little drive. Uh, since this one's ready, ready to go out on the road, we may take this one out for a little spin. I don't normally have a cameraman down here, so it's kind of nice. <laughs> Yeah. We'll fire up the old truck and get him out the ground. Yeah. One pump. That's it. So I ended up uh, confiscating the PCV valve off of this one to put on that one because I had a crankcase pressure issue a while back and had to, all the issues with the gaskets blowing out. So I went ahead and bought a new one for this one. So it should be, it should be perfectly good now. <laughs> so we'll put a brand new PCV valve in this car. Get in there. Yeah. And, uh, should be good. And that's, oh, and it's working good. Alright, let's see. Actually, you know what? I forgot I gotta take that thing off so I can see. And I forgot I was gonna get a new air filter for it too, but I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't got around to that yet either. Hopefully that don't blow off of there. <clears throat> oh yeah. Let's see, where did that? Oh, right there. I was like, man, I know it was right here somewhere. Dad called it his hot rod, didn't he? <laughs> it didn't too bad now. No, it didn't this time. That's what's crazy. It really didn't. That thing ain't no smoke compared to what it, it used to do. Well, that's maybe it's because it was meant for you to start, not me. Another Andrew Abner. <laughs> <laughs> and this is so cool because I have not rode. Ooh. Oh, yeah, say, this truck is like, <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta get powerful. used to the throttle. <laughs> Hopefully I don't turn it sideways so, out here. Yeah, don't do that, because remember the tires are dry rod bad. They scare me. So I have not run. Turn signal works. Perfect. Uh, well, one side don't. You have to click it manually yourself. Actually, I'm just gonna go this way first. But, um, yeah, so I have not rode on this side of the truck since I was a kid and dad driving and uh, so it has been a while and we thought it would be a cool idea for Andy oh Andy to drive the truck today and take it for take it for a little spin <laughs> <laughs> ain't that cool <laughs> man this is cool I don't normally get to ride this side of my own truck this you haven't worked in this thing? no <laughs> there's a lot of things that don't work yet <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> I got no horn, and like I said, the one turn signal don't work. You have to flick it yourself. Well, how can we just can't just go? Uh, 
something like that. Well, <laughs> I do still have my Uga horn. I do still have it. I have I have thought about putting it in this truck. That would be cool because that came out of the fair lane. And that's the one that I still have because I had to fix that one because I bought a brand new one and it broke and then it couldn't be fixed. So I took parts out of the new one, put it in dad's old one and fixed it. And now I think it's it a master cylinder thing or just? Uh, it, it's weird, I don't know. It's every single braking component in the entire truck is new. Clear down to the lines, everything is new. So it, it may actually still have a little bit of air in the system it just it's a it's a process to get it out of the entire system and new proportioning valve and all that kind of good jazz so i mean this i think that, where we came into town at. i think the brakes oh. feel pretty good but they're not that stiff like the truck used to be like it's mm -hmm. normally and of course uh how you, accurate is your speed on <clears throat> it's pretty accurate well, yeah it's speeding. yeah <laughs> <laughs> man it's just geez the memories because us us going to school and dad every now and then he'd come down this way taking us to grade school remember that yep it's weird it's like i haven't rode over here well i haven't rode shotgun basically in this truck going this direction since we were in grade school and there's our high school Woohoo! that's what i tell people when i move up pennsylvania like you guys didn't study this you didn't have this you didn't have i mean that was nice oh we're actually going over to the school yep it was 1999 and this whole town was covered with Wi-Fi. Because I remember the guy at the radio station I worked at, at WQWB, he would, he drove, he would drive around and be like, and have his laptop and, and no matter where we were in town, it was online. This was in 1999. Jeez. I didn't this town was that. covered in Wi-Fi back then. It's probably not now because there's no point. We have cell service. But how come the old gym looks taller? I don't know. That's weird. And this curve has always been crazy. Yeah, they didn't really, they don't really, it's not really a fancy school, but you know, this, this well, is home. they redone the entire you know? inside after we graduated. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. Well, oh. those doors are new. Look, they got a keypad on it. Oh, there's that coffee shop, by the way. Oh, wow. Yes. You want to talk there's about a, a nice coffee shop in yes. Petersburg now? Yes, yeah. and it is very nice. Do you remember JD took pictures of a Civic right here? Yep. And they turned out pretty good. I have never figured out what a buzz wrinkle is yet. Well, Dad yeah, come up with it. I, I know. You're going to have to ask him. I mean, <laughs> Buzzer bait is roadkill, but buzz wrinkle? I'm not sure what that is. It's a wrinkled up buzz. <laughs>